Last year after I did my build, I went on a trip that did Nova Scotia through Ontario to Minnesota, all the way down the Mississippi, and then around the Gulf of Mexico to Florida and up the East Coast. It was about 16,000 kilometers, and it was just, it was a blast. Hey everyone, I'm Eric. Uh, this is my Sprinter. Uh, it's a 2015, uh, 144 wheel length. Up top, I have four flexible 100 watt panels, uh, max air air fan. Uh, I've upgraded the tires to the BFG or BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, on the windows, I've added on uh, a vent, which helps with the wind on uh, when the windows are down. But I've also added in uh, louvered screens that are up top that I've kept in actually for the past year. Uh, allow the air to come in for ventilation. Uh, committing was having a friend that said I could build it out in her yard. And then I found the van. I went and I saw it the first chance I had. I had it the next day. Put in my lease notice that day. I was done with renting, uh, moving forward into the van. So let's take a look at the inside. Start off here on the outside. I got my locker that I keep my propane in, just accessible on the outside, but it is sealed and vented out through the bottom of the van. Then inside here, we have the heater down behind the, underneath the passenger seat, the output there. We have my, my tabletop that I keep stored here along the cabinet. This just pulls out and mounts on lagoon mount I have here at the end of my bed. We have a TV here. We have a headliner shelf with overhead storage. I have tool bags, some gloves, beach blanket, spare pillow, tripods, other junk storage, spare blankets, overhead cabinets above the bed. We have tools and spare parts currently in two of them. And then, and then all my clothes, oh, all my clothes are pretty much in two cabinets. All my shorts, currently the summer selection. Pants are in a bag. We're gonna have to pull those out soon. That's all the clothes. Uh, the couch pulls out into a, a full twin size bed. Uh, if I had more foams, I could actually get 48 inches instead of like 39, but it's about, about a twin size bed. Um, I have switches here for my overhead lights. Uh, I do have the back one separate from the, from the front, just so that if I want at night to go and have a dim light, I can just have one in the back. Uh, I have the switch that powers my, my television. And these here ones are for fans, my roof fan, Max Air. And this is just for fans that vent my fridge cabinet. Controller for the heater and thermostat sensor for it. And switch for my, my inverter, which is normally off, just on when I need it. I think the favorite part of my build would have to be my kitchen setup. Um, I have plenty of workspace. I probably have more counter space in this than I did in the one bedroom apartment that I had left. Um, I certainly have more drawer space. So this is my kitchen area. It takes up pretty much the entire passenger side of the van. Uh, we have chopping block picked up at Home Depot. It's like inch and a quarter birch, uh, two pieces. Uh, we have a ton of drawers and cabinets here. So I have compost and cleaning supplies in this one. Underneath it, I have long paper products and foil and stuff like that. It's the back of the gas bottle container, so it's just a narrow section. 
we have a little spot where I actually keep my laptop and keyboard. Nice handy little spot. Just some access under the sink. I haven't put in a sh anything to hold stuff there, but it would be a good spot for cloths or sponges. Water containers and pumps are underneath the sink. Uh, instead of hinging this, it's actually just a removable board. So just hooks over over the bottom section and clips in. We have the sink water tap, which I don't have a filter on yet, but it's there for future expansion. Tap, just cold water at the moment, and soap dispenser. Uh, blender on top here, one of the few things I'll turn my inverter on for. Uh, underneath it we have cutlery and measuring cups and stuff. And then we have our spice drawer on this one. Something I like to do is a lot of cooking and stuff, so I like to have all the spices available to me. And then we have a catch-all drawer, mostly wires for phones and stuff like that. Some extra pieces that don't really have a home anywhere else. We have a three-quart instant pot under here and mixing bowls in behind it and colanders. Uh, the three quart instant pot was a purchase I made specifically for the van and the sink was specifically chosen because it's big enough to hold the instant pot while I'm driving. Uh, move over a little bit further. This is where I'm doing most of my cutting. Next to large cutting board on top. We have plastic ware and storage containers in this one drawer, uh, mandolin and scale. And here's where I keep my pots, a good number of the pots, and my cooking utensils on the top for my blender. I'm a computer programmer, software engineer type thing, for the federal government of Canada. And uh, I work full time. I'm based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. With the current situation, I actually can't go into the office, so I'm, so I'm traveling. I did build the van myself. The only thing I haven't done is the insulation, uh, the spray foam part. So the van is spray foamed uh, all the way from the very front to the back. The doors aren't spray foamed. Those are a combination of styrofoam panels and, and rock wool. So on uh, above the counter, I have a basket where I normally keep my bread products. I actually hang a couple pairs of reading glasses and and some fruit, whatever I might hang in there. Chip clips, usually those are on a bag of chips. Uh, first cabinet here, we have our plates and bowls, uh, some bathroom medicine cabinet type stuff. Uh, not a whole lot of interesting stuff in there, but. And then the next three that we have here are are all food. So this is some oils and there's some beans, starches, seaweed, peppers, all kinds of stuff. We have bulk food purchases in here and some cereal. I usually have my cereal done up rather than opening a box every day. I'll have it here, but some seeds, sugar, different grains. And then in the back here, there's some nut and seed butters, there's yeast, there's seeds for sprouting, there's all kinds of other ingredients for, for cooking. It's a, a big mix of all kinds of stuff. Uh, underneath the cabinet against the wall here, there's the magnetic knife rack. These things have never moved. I've hit some atrocious roads. I'm no worries about those being on there. Just a little basket for some stuff keep my measuring spoons close, some paper towel, and some spices, some stuff that I ran out of room for, is gathered here on the back. Bungie is holding most of it in right now, but some baskets here with, with commonly used stuff that I, that I cook with almost every day. And then uh, some onions, they conveniently hang nicely in the back all the time. Uh, 
down below that we have the stove three burners on top i'm usually always just using one typically it does have the oven as well which inside i store a bigger set of pots and and steamer and my frying pans i store in the bottom i just keep some mats underneath them so they don't slide around and uh, that works out really good On this side, uh, we have my fridge. I have a storage area on top of it that's uh, quite large, fits oversized things. Uh, I tend to keep pans for, for cooking, sheet pans for the oven or a griddle for on top of the stove. Some paperwork in there, some spare paper towel. And then we have the Dometic 110 liter truck fridge. I guess it's got freezer section on the top and then lots of room drawers for storage plenty of food stuff the van itself like I said earlier it's a uh, 2015 I bought it in 2018 uh, with 24,000 kilometers on it I paid 35,000 Canadian for it I would say probably around $13,000 for the build. So I've gone from probably over $1,000 a month for living cost to 700. Uh, so I feel fortunate in that the van was the right decision as far as saving money goes, so. Okay, so we'll take a, take a look at what's in the back of the van. So on the door here, I just have some hoses that I use for filling up my water if I need to. Uh, this is my second water container that I just keep in the back. Uh, it's an extension cord. If I happen to be somewhere, I can plug in. Um, garbage can, some spare stuff that I have at the moment that's a future project. Um, on the passenger side door, fire extinguisher that's accessible in the back of the van. Uh, fold up ladder in case I need to get up to the roof, the solar panels. Uh, towel. Reflectix that I'm working on for window coverings. Uh, beach chair, camp chair, my snow brush, uh, long extension for my vacuum cleaner if I need it. Uh, so on the side, we have coat hooks up there. There's a shoe bag hold, hanging in the back with uh, shoes that I'm not currently wearing. And pandemic food supply so these boxes I've added added in since March to go and carry some extra food supplies just so I don't need to frequent the grocery stores as often or if supplies run short uh, I do have four 140 amp hour AGM batteries two of them are stored in this cabinet behind some extra food supplies. And with these ones, there's, there is a, a small fuse block on, on this side behind food supplies again. Yeah, uh, and that fuses anything on the passenger side of the van. And then there's two more batteries on the driver's side. An emergency single burner camp stove if I need for when I run out of propane. The batteries are charged with the solar controller I have here. It's a 40 amp solar controller that are connects the panels on the roof. Spare headphones if you need spare headphones. You see you see all the Instagram pictures and stuff and like there's a couple of them. Imagine waking up to this every morning. I'm like, I don't even know if there's like <laughs> like land or anything outside the van because all I see is the butt. One of these days I'm going to do a, an Instagram photo yeah. and it's going to be me yeah. with the back doors open and probably a dirty parking lot and a dumpster. I'll put my mattress there and I'll hike my shorts up on my butt, <laughs> get my feet all nice and dirty. Yeah and take one of those shots, right? And it's like, I'm not the model that's all nice and tanned. I don't typically wear a thong bathing suit and stuff, but 
you know, I, I want one of those looking out the back of my van shots. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs>